DJ Ferris. This Chicago, nigga. It's the real one. Hit me. Only one is pulling shit. Fuck up the. Let's get a sports talk. That's brutal, dude. Like yesterday, it's been like the first day of school, you know. Like had my outfit picked out and everything. I stay at home. That sucks. Missed out. I playing with all my friends. Uh, but yeah, you know, did not contract the virus. Uh, it took one luck at me. Ran the other way. Uh, it's probably in its best interest. So um, here we are. We're back on Tuesday, ready to roll. It's had a good place of football. Only guard in Minshew can come up with something like that and that get away with it. The virus took a look at it that and ran great. away. I'd love to know who was selected for the first day of school. Probably that same shirt. Probably George cut off above the pockets with the pockets hanging under the frayed material. But that's Gardner Minshew and uh, getting ready for his first season as the wire-to-wire -wire starting quarterback. He got thrust into the fray week one last year against the Chiefs when Nick Foles broke a collarbone fairly early in that week one loss to Kansas City. And this was supposed to be the opportunity for Minshew, you know, all through the offseason to get properly ensconced. He yeah. has to do it on a more compressed basis now that they're they're finally getting close to the practice field. What do we think? What do we think? Just what's your what do you, what's your expectation for Minshew this year? Like potential. You know, he's one of the guys I'm very excited to see play this year in the NFL. I mean, he certainly opened my eyes a number of times last year. First off, just what you see in what we just saw right there. He, he has a charisma and a way about him where you could see why fans gravitate. Um, because he showed a lot of promise last season. And he had a few little scratches in between his starts, and he had some that wasn't good, but he showed a lot that they could trust him and see if he's a guy for the future. They try to give it to Nick Foles because they still they signed Nick Foles to be, to be the guy. But the foes they pan out, so they moved on from him, and now they better just stick with Donald Mitchell. Then the foes came back, was stagnant, and they said we had to go back to him, and he's gonna be the guy moving forward, and that's what they want to roll with. They want to see how he's gonna be as the day one starter now, like fully, fully. But he was was the day one starter last season because he got thrown in the fire, but he was still the day one. But now it's Completely, he is. Towards him, players gravitate towards him. Why the organization goes, hey, we want to give this guy a chance. He's got some moxie. He does. He's got guts. He's got some playmaking ability, too. You know, he is one of those guys that we talked about so much during my quarterback rankings that he can make a play when the offense does not deliver somebody open or an easy completion or something like that. And that does excite me about him. Now, I can't necessarily sit here and say, I know the player yet. I'd like to see a little bit more of him, but I do think there is, you know, potential for this guy to be something and solidify himself as the starting quarterback in Jacksonville, but I'm just not totally sold on it yet. I saw some that makes me excited. I'm just, you know, I need to see a little more evidence, I guess is what I would say. Well, based on what we know now, let's do a little speed round here. Would you rather bank on the next three years of Gardner Minshew or the next three years of, and we're going to take them one at a time, but let's do it quickly, Minshew for three years or Jared Goff for three years? i, I, I got to still go with Jared Goff right here. I do. Again, like I said, I... You, you can't make that a comparison. Jared Goff uh, played well enough to get a, a big contract. He helped the team get to the Super Bowl. You got to see what Gardner going to do for Jacksonville to know he's the guy for the next three years or beyond. You already know what the Rams have in golf. He already put his foot in the door already. Donald Mitchell, he's still in there, but they want to see if he's going to be an established starter or he's going to be a backup. That's, that's what they determine it on. Is he a starter in this league or he's a backup in this league? just don't know about Gardner Minshew. And yes, Jared Goff has flaws. I know about Goff. Yeah, you, I know you know about Goff, but I still think what we know about Goff right now, I'm still going to say is better than Minshew. So from that standpoint, I'm going to take Goff still. I'd roll the dice with Minshew because I hear you. right now neither, one, neither one's going to win me a Super Bowl. I'll take my chances with Minshew. Or 
Gardner Minshew. I'm taking Gardner Minshew. I am. It, you know, this is just a guy that's more natural at the position, understands how to play quarterback, everything about it there. Uh, I get it. I'm, I'm off the Mitchell Trubisky bandwagon. I saw it. That's bad. That's tough. You know, they thought the season Bears had when he, uh, the year they went to the playoffs, he had that solid season. They thought he was going to counter off of that. But said he moved forward. He did this. He moved back. And now his job is on the line because he got Nick Foles there. But he's still going to be the guy for the Bears. They still going to roll with him and see he's the guy. But he start acting up. He's going to move to the back seat. You know, they comparing this to Ghana. I they're going to take Ghana Mitchell because they feel like he did more than Mr. Vizzi, even though Mr. Vizzi has been a starter for Chicago for like three years now. And they thought he had that promise. We had a solid year, but you move back. Enough last year. I tried to stick up for him for the first few years. Yeah, I'm going Gardner Speed here. Round. Yeah, sorry. Speed Gardner. round. Gardner. Uh, Tr Trubisky took a team to the playoffs. I, I want to see what he does in an offense that fits his talents. It's a closer win for me, actually, but I'll go Minshew. Sam Darnold. I'm going Sam Darnold. I'm not giving up on Sam Darnold. I mean, I think Sam Darnold has talent. He's a franchise quarterback. Needs some help around him. What are you doing? Sam Darnold sees ghosts. The ghosts would run away from Gardner Minshew. I'll take It's the same thing with Gardner Minshew. He got D.D. Westbrook. And who else outside of him? Sam Donald. He need more people around him to help the Jets be a different team. He don't have that around him. But I still would take him. That's your Teddy Bridgewater. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, this is a tough one here. I, hmm. You know, I... Uh, I'm gonna. I'll take Gardner Minshew here. I'll take Gardner Minshew here. I will. You know, and, and again, it's hard to say because I just don't know if we've seen enough about Gardner Minshew. But I'm way more excited about his top end than like what you've said already. We know what Teddy Bridgewater is. Maybe he can change the player this year. But uh, Teddy's a game manager and a check down Charlie, and that that always bothers me. Yeah, that's uh, that's his style. He's a game manager type of quarterback. But coaches like that. They like a player that can protect the football. Gunnar Mitchell, he take chances. It's two different players, coaches like. Some coaches like players that take chances. Some coaches like players that protect the football. I want a guy that I feel like is going to take me to a Super Bowl and win it, and I don't know whether or not Minshew is that guy. Most of these other guys, I kind of know that they aren't, all due respect, they aren't that guy. Last one, speaking of that guy, Derek Carr. I'm going Derek Carr. I'm I'm a, I'm I'm going in on Derek Carr this year. I think he's gonna. You just don't want to get blocked on Twitter. I I, I don't give a damn about Twitter anyways. But I I do. I listen. I think Derek Carr's underrated. I think he's shown he can deal with Gruden, and maybe he's got some talent around him to shut all of us up this year. Now we'll see. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the.